Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm going to be your teacher for today. Here at Prime Pass, we've created some really easy and simple painting tutorials for you to create a masterpiece in the comfort of your own home. So make yourself comfortable, pour yourself a drink, put on some music and get ready to get creative. In your painting kit, you will find 12 tubes of acrylic paint. You'll have your two paint brushes. You have a medium sized brush and a smaller brush. You'll have your eight inch by nine inch canvas board. You'll have your painting palette for you to squirt your paint on and to do your mixing. You'll also need some kitchen towel, a cup of water and a kitchen sponge. In this tutorial, we're gonna be painting morning desert with a lovely silhouette of cacti against a fiery sky. So we're gonna be bringing in some lovely reds and oranges and yellow. So let's start creating this really simple and easy painting. So once you have all your materials laid out in front of you, we can start preparing our palette with our paint. For this painting, we're going to be using black, orange, yellow, magenta, white and blue. So we can start off with our first colour. And you're just going to squirt a blob of paint in each dish. So we're also going to be using a kind of reddish brown which we need to mix ourselves. So I'm going to take my large paintbrush and I'm just going to dip it into my water. And then I'm going to just dry it slightly on my tissue. And I'm going to take a scoop of black. And I'm going to pop that in the dish next to it. I'm just going to take off some of the excess on the edge of the dish and then I'm going to scoop into the magenta and I'm going to take quite a lot and give that a good mix. I'm just going to take off some of the excess paint on my tissue and then I'm going to dip into the yellow and I'm going to add a bit of yellow into the mix as well. Okay, so once you're happy with your brown, I'm going to wash my brush off in my water. And then I'm going to dry it into my tissue. And then I'm going to move my palette to the side. And I'm going to bring in my canvas. And now we're ready to start painting. So before we start painting, just make sure you've got plenty of space around you to work with. So just move your paints and your materials away from the canvas slightly. And then we can start painting. So first of all, I'm going to take my pencil and we're going to draw in the land at the bottom where our cactuses are going to kind of stand on. So I'm going to go a couple of inches high, maybe about two and a half inches. And I'm going to just draw a little mark on my canvas. And we're going to draw a line across, but the line is going to be kind of quite curvy. It's not going to be a straight line. We're going to give the impression that there's kind of like a few hills and it's going to be a little bit bumpy. So whatever kind of shape you want for your land. You can do whatever you like, just make sure it's kind of not straight. We're, 
we're kind of looking for a nice kind of bumpy, bumpy desert land at the bottom. Okay, so when you're happy with your land at the bottom, we can start painting in the background. So I'm just going to change my water to a nice clean cup. And now we can start painting in the background. So we're going to go for the sky first. So I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to dip it into my water to dampen it a little bit. And I'm just going to squeeze off the excess water back into the cup. And then you're going to choose a side of your sponge wherever you want. And we're going to start off by dipping into the magenta. So I'm going to go, I'm going to use the corner and I'm going to dip in. And then I'm going to use kind of very loose strokes, kind of sweep, like a sweeping motion. And I'm going to start at the top of the canvas. And these strokes don't have to be kind of like a perfect line. Keep your wrists kind of quite loose and free. So kind of go a bit diagonal. And as you're kind of reaching the bottom of your patch, just kind of do a couple more kind of freer strokes towards the bottom so it's not just a straight line. So once you're happy with your patch of magenta, I'm going to dip into the orange and I'm just going to use the same, the same side again and it will kind of blend really nicely because these colours are kind of layered up on the sponge. And then underneath I'm going to add my orange and I'm going to use those same kind of nice loose strokes again. And you can dip into the orange and get a little bit more paint on your sponge, just so it's nice and thick. Okay, so when you're happy with your patch of orange, we're going to do the same with the yellow. So this time you just might want to dip into a cleaner side because the yellow is kind of quite light. Get quite a lot of yellow on there and then we're going to do the same again with the yellow. And then you can just kind of paint over the line slightly. Okay, so when you're happy with your patch of yellow, we're going to dip into the white. And we're going to do the same again with the white. I'm going to go on top of the yellow with my white so the colours are gradually getting lighter as we're moving down the canvas. So our lightest area will be at the bottom as we're reaching the land. All right, so when you're happy with your white patch, we're going to take a clean side of the sponge and we're going to blend it all together. So we're going to do kind of nice clean sweeping motions all the way across the canvas, coming downwards to blend all those colours together and create some really lovely tones. All right, so when you're happy with your sky, we'll let that dry and then we'll bring in some nice blues over the top. 
So I've just cleaned my sponge and it's really important that your canvas is completely dry before we move on to the next bit because we're going to be adding blues and if our canvas is still wet then it's going to kind of blend into green. So just make sure your canvas is completely dry and then we can start adding in some blue tones. So with my clean sponge I'm going to choose a corner and I'm going to dip into my blue and I'm going to get quite a lot of paint on there and then with the blue I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to do kind of loose thick strokes with the blue paint so you can kind of, kind of dip in again get even more on there Okay, so we have our patch of blue at the top, that's going to be our dark area. With that same corner, I'm going to dip into the white and this will blend into a really lovely light blue. And I'm going to add that underneath. Same again, kind of quite thick, thick layers of paint. And then I'm just going to bring that down slightly, but not too much. So we have a few patches of light blue. So next we're going to choose a nice clean side of our sponge. And we're going to use kind of sweeping motions again from left to right. And we're going to blend those tones together. So they're nice and kind of even and clean. Don't press too hard, be quite light with your sponge. And I'm going to go from the top again, just bring it down. Okay, so when it's blended slightly, not too much, we're going to leave that to dry and then we'll start painting on our land at the bottom. Okay, so I've just washed my sponge and when your canvas is completely dry, we're going to start to draw in our cacti. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw in my cacti in this section over here. So I'm going to have some which are quite large and some which are smaller, but you can choose whatever shape you want. It's completely up to you, but I'm just going to go from left to right and I'm going to fill in this space over here. So we're kind of looking for kind of a long, longish lines that kind of end when we get to our blue sky area, so don't go too high. So these can be kind of whichever shapes you want to be. They've got kind of like lots of different kind of branches coming off. There we go, so now we can start filling them in with our paint. I'm going to 
use my small paintbrush and I'm going to dip into that brown that we mixed at the very beginning. So I'm going to cover my brush in the paint to make sure the brush is evenly coated. And then I'm just going to wipe off some of the excess against the side. Or you can kind of just turn your brush to get off some of the excess paint. So really take your time with this. We're going to fill in each one and I'm going to go from left to right. It's just the easiest way to do it. So you're not smudging anything with your hand. And you can kind of really redefine your cactus if you want to. You can change the shape slightly. But aim to get some really nice straight lines. Okay, so I'm almost finished filling in my last cactus. So we're going to wash off our small paintbrush and our water. And dry it in a tissue. And now we can start painting in the land at the bottom. So I'm going to take my large paintbrush and I'm just going to dip it into my water a little bit just to get it a little bit damp. And then I'm going to dip into that same brown again. So make sure your brush is evenly covered. So when your brush is evenly coated in the brown paint, we're going to start to fill in our land at the bottom. So you can really kind of be quite precise with creating a nice neat line at the top. And you can get it as perfect as you want it to be. There we go. And now we're just going to fill in the rest of the land underneath. Okay, so when your white space is all covered up, we're going to take a tissue. If you wanted to clean your brush and your water first to get off that brown paint and then just dry it in your tissue and you can put that to the side and then you can get a clean, fresh tissue and we're going to create some texture. 
in the land that we've just painted. So with your tissue, we're going to use kind of like a sweeping motion from left to right. And we're going to give kind of create some lines in there. Don't press too hard. So don't make your tissue kind of too pointy. We're kind of using the flat side. And we're just going to do a few sweeps to create just a few lines. So when you're happy with the amount of lines and the amount of texture that you've added, we can let our painting dry. And there we have our cactus in the desert. You're welcome to carry on painting. You're welcome to add different colours to the sky or do even more cactuses. It's completely up to you. But continue to have fun with it. I really hope you've enjoyed painting Morning Desert with me today and you've got your creative juices flowing and tried something new. Do check out more of our paintings at Prime Pass. We have a whole array of pictures for you to choose from. So I hope to see you in the next video.